And um, so what's great about Misty, what I love about her is that she calls me all the time when she needs help and getting coaching on leads, like dialing leads and just kind of stepping out. And um, hopefully you saw that thing on Slack where I, I really recommend it to her. I go, Missy, you need to get to a hotspot meeting to go to a dial team and listen to a dial team. Now check this out. So, um, so I checked with Paul Roberts, who runs that Louisville meeting, and he said, oh man, you know, we need to get to do that, to do a dial team again. We call it rally points or dial teams, where agents get together at one spot and they make dials so other new people can listen to other people making dials. And Paul said, oh man, I'm sorry, dude. We, we took a break since family reunion. We got to get that started again. So we got it started again at my prompting, which is just, man, that's so awesome. And then I told Misty, hey man, you know, plug in and uh, find out what the next one is. Because she was having some challenges dialing the phone and, you know, just learning how to get through answering objections and stuff. So she went and listened to them dial the, some of the top veterans in our country that, that produce, and she picked up so many good nuggets. So she took what she learned and applied it to her own dialing. So it gave her more confidence to dial the phone more. And she started dialing and she started using some of the techniques of answering objections. And she started booking appointments and booking appointments and booking appointments. I think she had like three appointments over the past few days. And she was scared to, like one of the things that she was scared is, man, I don't want to, I don't want to keep dialing them, you know, three times in a row. So I said, you know, it's just, it works. It works. You'll be surprised how many people pick up on the third dial. Well, sure enough, after implementing it just a few dials in, boom, someone picked up on the third dial. And she, I think she booked it or, or whatever. But the, the point being that she did book it. And the point being that she's starting to trust what we're recommending to her. And she's doing the things we recommend. So she's got this tremendous um, ability to listen and to implement. And it's just so cool. And she wrote her first app, this AIG app. She called me and she was getting advice on it and what should she do. And so I walked her through that and, and helped her out a little bit. But she, she did the sale, man. She was in the client's home. You know, she created Bon Rapport. And then there was another person that she... Um, that she had been trying to, for three weeks to get a hold of, she finally got a hold of, and then she booked a point. So I think she's getting more confident in our process and more confident in the system. And the most important thing out of all this is she plugged into that Louisville team. And there, you cannot discount the power of a team, okay? Now, for those of you around the Columbus area, Columbus, Ohio, we have Brant Swindell coming in next Tuesday to do a boot camp. He'll be here, the, you know, one of the top producers in the nation flying into Columbus next Tuesday, um, Joy. <laughs> He's going to be here from two to five doing a boot camp, and then he'll be doing the hotspot meeting next week. So any of y'all that are in Ohio, or you, I don't care where you are, man, if you can come out, man, that would be so awesome to hear Brant Swindell do his thing next Tuesday. And so um, I think I am making arrangements to be there. So, uh, Joy, I'd recommend if you can make it out, but he's going to be there, man, and, and I'm so fired up about that. But, again, opportunities to get around people and to learn how to become better, how to do what you need to do, just to getting around the team. And that's one thing that's so important about what it is we do is that we are a team. And it, like, edifies you. It gives you courage. It'll give you courage that other people are getting shut down as well like you are, like you can't turn around certain objections. And uh, you see, so you, you feel like a, you know, like it's not just you, it's just whatever. It's whatever happens. And they just keep picking on the phone, dialing, pick up the phone, dialing, picking up the phone and dialing. And uh, so uh, that's just the marvelous thing when you look at people that listen and are, like you said, Paul Manius, coachable, coachability, right? And um, willing to do the things we recommend. Um, and um, I think Dan Breitenfeller out in um, Florida is starting to get it too. He's starting to get 
understanding. He's, he's going to the hotspot meeting there in Florida, and he's picking up new things. And he's telling me when he calls me, things that he's learning. And I love it. He's just very, he's a very deliberate person. And he picks, he's, he's very, um, what's a good word? He catches stuff. Like he goes and he really learns stuff. That's one thing about Dan. I could tell because he repeats stuff back to me. And that's how I know that he's picking it up because he repeats what he's learned. And, and they're just, you know, like profound things. And like, you know, when you're sitting down with the client, the best way is for them to discover what they need, not for you to tell them what they need. And the self-discovery is everything. You know, that's where you really learn a lesson is when you discover it for yourself. And hopefully you have a mentor or teacher guiding you down the road to discover these things for yourself, okay? So I can't be more pleased to, to watch the growth of the people in our business that are doing the things that we're recommending, that are implementing our suggestions. And, um, you know, it's an all-volunteer army. You know, you all are 1099 contractors, so you can do whatever you want to do. And the thing is, one thing to remember is that if you don't make money, I don't make money either. So my, my wish and prayer for you is that you do everything that we recommend, that you go out and inconvenience yourself, to go out to the things that will help you become better, to attend the hotspot meetings and get to know the people there, okay? To ask questions actively so you can have your own agenda, you know, covered in the training. You know, get to know and shake hands with the people, like the top agents, hang out with them, ask them questions, have an MP3 recorder and just ask them how they handle certain objections or, you know, what gets them up in the morning? What do they get motivated about? The power of the questions will determine the, the power of your life will determine the quality of your life. You know, so you got to always have that idea of asking questions. What am I doing? How can I get better? What do I want? What do I need to do to get it? Right. So, um, so as I mentioned, <laughs> I was like going, you know what? In fact, I had a whole stack. <laughs> Let me grab them. So I had a whole stack of leads, like a whole like stack. Actually, I have another stack of old leads. And so I thought, what the heck? If I, how, why aren't Dal? <laughs> why aren't Dal counts going up? The one thing about this business, in my opinion, I just keep my opinion, the hardest thing in business is picking up the phone and, and dialing. You know, we call it dialing for dollars, whatever, go for no, like the book. <laughs> go for no, okay, this book, this wonderful book that gets your mind right on dialing. It's not getting the yeses, it's going for no. How many no's can you get? And so, so I got a stack of leads and I said, you know what? Can I do 200 dials? Can I sit down and do 200 dials? You know? So I, what I did was I got up last Saturday, this last Saturday. I said, you know what? I'm going to dial. And let's see how long it takes me to do 200 dials. So my, my purpose, my goal was to do 200 dials. It wasn't to book appointments. It wasn't to get, actually, it wasn't to get no's. I know I would get no's. And, um, and doggone, I can't find my activity book because um, I think I left it somewhere else. But I dialed my counts, okay? And I did like a total of 201 dials. And like I said, these are all leads, so... Um, I, I think I contacted 25, 26 contacts, and then I booked four appointments. Uh, one of the appointments was a current client lead, so it was one of my current clients. And um, so I, I dialed 201 dials. And so how long did it take me? So I started dialing. Like, in fact, I didn't even think about doing this until I woke up Saturday morning. Like, Saturday morning, you know, I go, you know what? 
I want to know how, why it's so hard to dial the phone. Like I'm trying to remember back when I was dialing the phone, like why is it so hard for people to dial the phone? So I thought, I'll, so it's that Saturday morning. So I got a bunch of leads. I started dialing at 9.50 a.m. 9.50 a.m. And then, and, and, and so I followed my own advice. <laughs> what a concept, following my own advice. I took breaks. I took breaks. But I, when I was dialing, man, I was like, ba -da 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 -da, ba -da -da, three times in a row. I was dialing. I was texting the picture of the lead to some people. I was, I was like in it, man. I was like, you know, who is this? And I was answering objections. And I was getting shut down. I was getting hung, hung up on. And I was getting everything that you all get. And $200, I thought I would have more appointments, actually, but I booked four. And um, here's what it's, and then I, I got done at like two, it, it was four hours. And I took breaks, like, you know, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes here and there. So it wasn't a full four hours of dialing. I took breaks about every hour. Um, and it was probably, in those four hours, so probably about half an hour of breaks. So I got done, let's see. It's like 9.50 to about 2 o'clock, 9, so that's about 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So it was four hours of dialing. It took me four hours. So that was a um, little over four hours. I think what I, I calculated was like $44 per hour. So what that means, well, I got $200, so that's like, what, $50 an hour. Um, but, yeah, so it was like a little after. It was like 2.30. I think is what it was, like four and a half hours, and uh, with breaks in between, and uh, and that was a lot of dials per hour, like forty, like fifty, basically forty. It was like forty-four dials an hour, dialing it three times in a row. Like I had a stack of leads, so that means I connected, but I didn't have long conversations except with the four people. Okay, so I got a hold of one guy who's actually stationed in the Air Force in Italy. So I booked a telephone appointment. Okay, and. There's a, actually one of our carriers I could do an app over the phone, you know, but I, we don't typically do it over the phone, but he was in Italy, you know, um, at Aviano Air Base. And uh, we had a nice conversation. Really it couldn't get the pain. Um, and, uh, but I, I sent him some information. So when he gets back to Dayton, that we'll get together. I, I said, man, let's get together. I think I got some great, you know, retirement things that we can talk about. So I think he's, he's like 21. There's a new marriage lead. His wife is 20 years old. Okay. So that was the one. This other one was a final expense lead that I um, booked for Sunday. And um, he was like 80 years old. And when I went over there, it just, it, they couldn't afford anything more, right? Went out there, they couldn't afford anything. So no big deal. And then that night, um, later that evening, I had an appointment down Cincinnati um, with someone who, when I showed up to the house, um, I called him because there was no one home. And he said, oh, man, I'm sorry I got called into work. Um, with, how about Wednesday? I said, why is it work for me? What time? So I booked it like 3.30 this Wednesday. Um, he was wide open, man. He was all over. It was, a tele it was an old TV lead, TV final expense lead. Okay, the first one was a marriage lead. The second one was, um, I think it was also a TV final expense lead. Third one was TV final expense lead. And um, the guy's just like really wants to sit down with me. And, um, but what's kind of cool about that is that, hey, I booked it, I rebooked it, I rescheduled it. And my son was coming up from Cincinnati because Ginny was having a special dinner, pot roast. <laughs> I didn't know this until I was on my way down. Actually, it was funny. It was in Cincinnati. My, I actually passed my son on the road. I was going to the client's house, and he's at University of Cincinnati. We passed each other. He recognized my car. He calls me, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I got a client meeting. He goes, well, you're going to be home for dinner, for you know, pot roast dinner. And I said, after my I'm done. I'll be. I'll be there. I'll be late. Well, as it turned out, we rescheduled it, and I was able to show up on time for dinner. Which, you know, I think God said, "You know what, dude? Like this is the way my mind works." I think He said, "You know what? You're willing to go serve my people. You know, I'm gonna let you. You know, you need to have dinner with your family." 
And so I think he arranged it that I was able to come back and have dinner with my family. And it's, I don't know, maybe um, 45 minutes from my house to this guy's house, 50 minutes. Anyway, so, I mean, I look at no-shows and reschedules as, you know, look, all I could do is just do my job and then God does his job, right? I, I think dialing the phone is I do my job and then God does his job. You know, the only way I let God do his job is when I do mine. When I pick up the phone and dial, then, you know, everything else just, I can control dialing the phone. And so then my fourth appointment um, I booked was the current client, which was yesterday, um, before the hotspot meeting. So I sat down with my buddy. I wrote him May 17th, 2000. I was been only in the business five months. I started in January 2000. This is one of my original OG, original gangster clients down in Cincinnati, Leonard. He was 43 when I wrote him. And I, I've talked to him over the years, like, but I never had seen him. So he finally, his policy is going to end next May. A <laughs> 20-year term policy. It's 100000 He's paying like $21 a month. And he wanted to know, hey, man, I, I know my policy's in. I need to get something else. So I sat down with him yesterday. I showed him a smart UL. And um, for about 85 bucks a month for 25000 he wants to maybe bump it up later. But, hey, man, I, you know, whatever, man. That he wanted something permanent. And so I wrote it up. And, um, and then this is my first time on a, on a point to get, like, ERS, like a, you know, doing it the way that we're teaching. And I got like 10. I didn't get 20, but I got 10. And it was really cool. I just said, okay, how about a couple more? Because he was about to beat her out at eight. Right, how about a couple more? So he came up with a couple more. And so check this out. So what I did was, hey, there's my kitty cat. <laughs> Welcome to Coco. <laughs> That's our Persian. I've never had a picture of her where she stares right into the camera. So Jenny got this picture. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Okay, so this is what I did. Um, so, so this is my client. So what I did was I initiated all the, I wish Leonard would have smiled. <laughs> when I met with him 20, um, in 2000, he had a, he had a jerry curl thing going on. Now he has the, the dreadlocks going on. It's kind of interesting. We both <laughs> have really changed. But um, so what I did was I put, I texted Leonard and the client and the ERS referral. And I tested the picture and I put, hi, Keisha, my life insurance agent, Alex, is going to call you on my behalf. And before you ask, yes, everything's okay. You'll be calling from 937-554-2693, please take his call. He's going to drop something off for me. And then she types back, okay. <laughs> you think I'm going to book that appointment? But the way I kind of figured out is, like, she, you get a tax from someone, and in the, like, there's two, let's say you have a tax from someone who's got another person on, okay, and then there's one person who's in your address book, that could, at least on the iPhone. I don't know if Android does this. So I'm kind of taking a chance, but you know, at least Leonard shows up on his daughter's phone and then this different guy. And even though it's coming from me, okay, even though it's coming from me, she sees a picture of her dad with this text as if it's coming from, from him, right? And so I take it out of the hands of the client and putting it in my own hands. And so, you know, I did it for the next one. Hi, Kelly. And I put the client's name in there. So it's, it's personal to the client. Okay. This is a guy I work. Hi, Andy, my life insurance agent. You see? So I just did a whole bunch of these. Hi, Pamela. Does that make sense, gang? So I wish you would have smiled, but that's all right. Oh, there's another okay. <laughs> There's another, this is Lynetta, his other daughter. Okay, see, so I'm thinking there's some likes to this, right? 
I don't know. I, I'm going to try it out. But look, so here's my, here's probably the main, the main point, the main point of all this. Um, it was a lot of fun. Number one, okay, so let's talk about 200 dials. Yeah, just contact them. So $200 was like no big thing. It was just grunting it through the four hours. Now, like if I had A leads, A1s, double A's, and triple A's, man, $200, man, they're 10, 10 appointments. 10 appointments is what I believe I would have booked. You know, but I've got current clients too. Um, let's just say... Awesome, big guy. Yesterday I got 10 ERSs and did a group text to all of the ERS people on the list in one text. My only mistake was I didn't put myself on it. <laughs> yeah, that works too, I think. But anyway, so, um, so dialing 200 dials, four hours. And I was very focused. I wish I had the, the activity sheet in front of me. But I was like tick, 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 cross, tick, 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 cross. Tick, 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 cross. I was just focused. And I did it in rows. Um, I did, uh, my goal is to get 10 haystacks. So the first row is 10 haystacks. The second row is 10 haystacks. The third row, I was getting to four rows of 10 haystacks, right? Because that'd be 200. And I got 201 because I had to do my three dials. And here's the thing that I found was, People picked up on the third dial. And then I was texting people the picture of the, there's a few people I texted them. I left some messages because some of these were really old. I had a lot of TV leads. Um, there's, you know, I couldn't turn around a lot of, we took care of it already. Um, you know, but here's what I found. It's like, eh, all in the day's work. It was grind. I just, it was grinding four hours. And then now, you know, I got appointment Wednesday. Um, like, so I guess my point is, what's so hard? Like, is it really that hard? Like, how hard is picking up the phone? I mean, I know that you're nervous. I know that, oh my gosh, I've never done this before. Yeah, you know, I had a little bit of nerves. I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> a little bit of nerves. But here's my focus. My focus was, I got to do 200 dials. So I got over it quick. I started picking up the phone. I laid my stuff out. It's like, because I, you know, I laid my leads out, my stack. I have my appointment, my activity book next to me. And I have my phone right in front of me. I went tick to do 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 dial, ring, ring, ring. No one answer, hang up. Then I go to redial. So I go back to, you know, the other thing on the phone, redial, hit redial. And then the answer, or ring, they don't answer, then I hang up and then I do it one more time. And I pause a little bit before the third one. Just, I have this pause back, um, I say a Hail Mary, okay? And then I dial the third time, for those, some of you Catholics, you know, they kind of like, you know, you can go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, and then dial again. I don't know, it's just something I thought twice and then a little pause and a third one. Anyway, so that's what I was doing. and. Um, and then I just went on to the next one, went on to the next one, went on to the next one. And it was really fascinating um, just going through it. And I got kind of tired, so I kind of shake myself out and let's do it again. And, um, but I didn't find it, like whatever happened, happened. If I wasn't good at answering the objection, whatever. I, you know, I got shut down. Um, I don't know that I turned, I turned one around, which was, I think, one of them I did turn around. But, you know, look, uh, another time I do $200, I might book 10. Another time I do $200, I might book one. Another time I do 200, depending on the leads. So, I don't know. What, um, what are you guys having problems with? What? What is preventing you from dialing 200 dials? It could be numbers of leads. Certainly numbers of leads will, um, 
you don't have enough leads to do 200 dials. But, you know, when you're looking, when you're looking at over time getting leads, especially when you're investing in leads, I mean, if you're investing in leads, you need to dial. Well, I don't care if you're investing or we're giving you bonus leads. You need to dial 200. You need to just hit it. It's only four hours, right? Paul Manius, almost no one picks up on the first dial. On the third dial, they're really curious. Yep. In fact, what you're going to do is you're going to get people calling you back. Um, oh, my God. That's amazing. I say home Mary in between each time I make a redial. <laughs> okay, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, don't do a whole rosary because that's way long between. That's like 20 minutes, right? Um, Slack is an app that you will find. Yep. Um, yes, help and life. Okay, we got that. My challenge, excuse, is focus and blocking everything else out during dial time. I find all sorts of things to do. Yeah, it's called creating a creative avoidance, right, Dan? Creative avoidance. Creative avoidance. Just trying to figure out, you know, sometimes you think you got to, like, gear up. Like, you think you got to put your pads on, your uniform on. You got to gear up to get ready to dial. And you're thinking about all this big, massive thing that you got to do. And it's like this big thing in your mind that you want to avoid. Or you can think of it like this. It's like, man, I got no choice, brother. I got I to gotta make my dolls. I got to, you know, okay. So, um, so if you think that it's hard to get ready to do this, to get ready to get ready, well, then, heck, let's, um, let's make some dolls now. How about, how about that? So I'm going to make some dolls. Like, uh, what is it? We got nine minutes left. Let's see how many dolls I can make. Okay. Okay, so I got my phone. I got some leads. So these are Cincinnati. So let's see what we can do here. So this is what I do. So I'm going to dial dials, connects, appointments. Let's see what happens, man. Let's have some fun. So this is a final expense TV lead. Yeah, these I have trouble with, but I don't care. Sometimes these numbers are not good, but I don't care. What are they going to say? I don't care. They're going to say something. Spur of the moment. <laughs> I wasn't planning this. So this is one dial. Okay, hang up. Then I go to recents. Then I hit it again to redial. So that's another dial. One in fifty six. Number three. I didn't pause, but I'm just trying to make a point. Do I leave a message? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll leave. If she, this is an old final expense TV lead call in. They don't remember it. So I might just, this is old. So this is what, February, 2019. I'm not going to wait. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Another, this is a fallen expense call in. I'm going to call the cell phone. Or 1942. So they'll probably be home. Another dial. Can you guys hear that okay? Okay. Let's go back and let's redial. How long did that take? 
Got my first haystack, baby. What time is it? Been on the phone, what, three minutes? Hello, Gustine. Gustine. Hello. Gustine. Hey, Gustine. Can you hear me? Who is this? Hey, Gustine. This is Alex. Who? Alex. This is Alex. You had uh, called in looking for some information on final expense burial insurance. Code word is blue. Oh, I'm, well, I'm sorry. I'm not interested anymore. Oh, do you, already, you. Do you already take care of it? Hello? Yes. You did? Oh, well, yes. when you filled this out, were you trying to find the best prices? I'm uh, Cause not I, interested no more because I've got other things on my mind. Oh, you got other things on your mind? Well, I could take this off your mind and help you out. You let Thank me. Thank you, but okay. I don't have the time, sir. Oh, okay. You, can, you don't have to even call anymore. I'm sorry. All right. That's but all right. That's okay. Well, God bless you, Gustine. Take care of yourself. Bye now. All right. So I got to connect. Five dollars won't connect. No appointments. I got through it. Whatever. Like, you know, it's not my job, man, to make them book. It's my job to call them, right? Okay. Let's go to the next one. She picked up on what? The second dial. Two, three, three, eight. Not Morse protection call in. Oops. Our call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Okay. Try again. Hello. Hey, Darren. Yes. Hey, Darren. This is Alex. I'm with the Mortgage Protection Department. And you had sent in the Mortgage Protection Department. You had called in. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a month ago. Car uh, word gray? I'm not a, yeah, I'm not interested in that right now. Oh, did you already take care of it, or? Yes. You did? Yes, um, were thank you, you. Were you trying to, you, okay. All right, there you go. We had another contact. Now notice, he picked up on the second dial, right? He picked up on the second dial, didn't he? Okay, so let's do this one. Linda, let's see if Linda's home. Hello? Hello, Linda. Huh? Yeah, hello, Linda. Yeah. Yeah, Linda, this is Alex. I'm with the Mortgage Protection Department. Did you, uh, yes. I'm just calling about this form you sent in. We show in our records that we were not able to take care of you, and I am need to verify. You gave us a date of birth as eight fifteen nineteen fifty five. Is that right? I'm sorry. Who is this? Okay, this is Alex with the Mortgage Protection Department. And some time ago, when you got your mortgage for one hundred seventeen three seventy, there was a bunch of forms that you filled out. One of the forms you filled out was on. Mortgage Protection Life Insurance, where if you died, the company would pay off your mortgage for your beneficiary. And I just, you signed this form, and I want to verify the information because we show in our records that we were not able to take care of this for you. Okay, so, I, am cl I am paying this condo off in full, so there won't be any problem to my beneficiary. Oh, really? Okay. When are you going to get that done? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, well, we can do a very short-term program. That... I'm not interested, but thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. So let's just keep going, man. Now I'm starting to get... Hello? Okay, now I'm starting to get... Now I'm starting to get competitive. <laughs> now this is like... I'm going to, like, be on this phone. <laughs> Dead gummit. <laughs> Plus, I'm in an area that 
has got other agents that work these. Hello. Siobhan. Siobhan? Calling. Hey, Siobhan. This is Alex. How are you doing today? You, um, do you remember okay, me? I'm at work. Oh, you're at work? Well, this is going to be real quick. Yeah. I'm with the Mortgage Protection Department, and we received this wow. form that you filled out looking for some information on mortgage protection life insurance. And you wrote down some information here on your date of birth and so on. I just need to verify this information. It won't take too long. Um, I got your date of birth uh, as eight. Yeah, mm -hmm. Not to cut, not to cut you off, but I've already gotten uh, a, a life insurance for my mortgage. Oh, now when you sent this in, were you trying to find like the best rates that you can find for yourself? Um, yeah, I was just getting information. It's all new to me, um, but I've already uh, committed to a plan. Did you now? Let me ask you. Did you have to take a blood and urine test for that plan, or was it non-medical? No. Oh, wow. Well, did you know that you're probably paying like 30% more per month for that? And over the course of 30 years, that could be thousands of dollars. And I can get you in the plan uh, way cheaper for 100000 that will more than cover it and, and won't, won't cost you near as much as what you're currently paying. Is that, um, would that be something that I can swing by? It only takes 15 minutes. Uh -huh. I would do that, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm at work. Uh, so let me. Okay, I'll call you back. Let me call you back, and mm -hmm. when you're at, when you get home from work today. Uh, today I don't get off at ten o'clock. Okay. Well, I'll give you a jingle maybe uh, tonight, and let's see if I can show you something that might benefit you better. All right, Siobhan. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. That's fine. Take care. God bless you. We'll be in touch. Thank Bye you. now. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting that they are at work and they're still picking up the phone. Now, was that the first dial? I don't even remember. But now I've got like an un, un, uncrossed haystack. And I cannot have an uncrossed haystack. It just drives me crazy. So let's see if Nancy's home. Born in 1946. Oops, there we go. Oh, yes. I crossed that haystack. I, you know what? I might just still dial. I. <laughs> Am I afraid? No. Is this scary? Your call has been. Okay, let's try it one more time. Building my belief, Alex, for sure. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. Be there, Nancy. I'm here to help you. I know you need my help. God sent me to help you. So pick up the phone. <laughs> okay. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord's with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Another title. <laughs> How hard is this? This is your job. This is your job. <laughs> and then you go on appointments, and you go sit down with nice people, and you go out and bless people. We're going to bless them, man. We are going to bless them. <laughs> bless them, brother. Bless them, sister. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's. Let, I want you to hear my. If the answering machine. Oh yeah. Hello, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. This is Alex, with the Mortgage Protection Department. I received that form that you sent in. It's real important. Oh. Yeah, I guess it hung up. All right. Just one more. Just one more. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, just with this is my last one. How fun is this? Is this hard? Is it hard? 
This is how people make $300,000 a year. Busy. Let's try that again. Let's see if it'll be less busy. All right. Okay, I gotta at least talk to someone. Do you see what happens? What happens is you, once you start a roll, you just cannot get off the phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crossed it. Yes. Three haystacks. <laughs> How many people are still on? Well, we got 20. Falling expense television lead. Okay, let's do it again. Probably, I usually normally just wait just a little bit and then dial the second time. Then the third time I do the Hail Mary and then. I might be too animated when I when I'm tiling. Okay, this will be the last one. Actually, this is the second dial, right? So I got one more dial. Oh no, this is the third dial. Okay. I don't always leave voice messages. But what the heck? It's final expense lead. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, Christine. This is Alex with the Senior Benefits Center. You had responded to a television commercial ad for final expense insurance, and you called in behalf of Fred, and uh, the code word's phishing. Um, you had put some information here on your pre-application I got Fred is 5'5", 156 pounds. Date of birth is May 21st, 1933, and he's a non-smoker. Anyway, we show that we had not taken care of this for you. So please give me a call back and we can discuss um, how we can help you. My number is 937-554-2693. Again, that's 937-554-2693. 2693. Code word is phishing. And I got your address here at 6251 Simpson Avenue, apartment B5. So anyway, give me a call back. Take care. God bless. Bye now. Okay, if I left a message on a on a mortgage protection lead, it would be, let's say, hey Christine, Alex, mortgage protection department. Listen, important you call me back about your mortgage. Um, my number is 937 blah, blah, blah. And I get like that, I get a lot of callbacks on. So anyway, kept my counts, didn't book any appointments, but how long did that take? That was like, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. Um, I got a callback. I think I got a really good callback here. But, you know, so that be it. Anyone got any questions? Let's see, let's see what I have here. My old Samsung might get more dials per hour, easier to hit redial. It, yeah. First dial is the toughest after you can get in on a groove. That is true. If you hate making dials, get really good at the RS system, way easier. She's lying. Thank you, Alex. All right. So, like, do you need to really, like, have some great ceremony on Dialing? I don't think so. I think dialing is just dialing. Dialing's having fun. Dialing's reaching out. Now, if these are a stack of A leads, A ones, double A's, triple A's, within like 15, 16 dials, I probably would have booked one appointment at least. All right. 
I'm pretty confident in that. And then I've got this one right here. So let's call her back. She's a callback. And let's see what I can do for her. But okay, was that hard? Like I'm going to unmute. Does anyone have any questions? Um, Jennifer, you'll learn about the ER system on Thursday. Okay, that's our referral system. Um, so let's unmute all. Yeah, Anyone got any questions? All right, man. Well, we're done. Um, Thanks, Alex. Helped. Yeah, I hope that helped you guys. And you know, sure. am, I, am I still on? Yeah, you're still on. Cool. I, uh, if you wouldn't mind me asking, Alex, I saw you said something about like not leaving a voicemail or something like that. What's your thoughts on voicemails or when it's the right time to leave one? Um, the only time, like on super old leads, like these are old. Um, I might. What I'll try to do, like normally, I'm gonna like dial these leads this week. You know, several times this week, several times next week. If I can't get a hold of them live on the phone, then my next manner of getting hold of them is leaving one voicemail and don't leave multiple, and the <coughs> voicemails that I leave, and then I'll door knock them. So I'll set up a route <coughs> planner in MapQuest, or you can go use Road Warrior and set up a route where you can like go strategically in a circle around efficiently to door knock them and show them the loop. Because when you door knock them, I've been trying to reach you. Is this your signature? You know, like I think Miss had door knock. But anyway, so that's that's how we get a hold of people. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. And then I'll text, I'll take a picture of some people if they're millennials. I'll text it and then I'll, I'll send it out. Like they might text back, who is this? <laughs> Then I'll I'll send the picture and text them. I mean I'll try it every every, every kind of way. Does the uh, does the lead information have down specifically their cell numbers or home yes. or both or okay yeah cool they do I mean they put their contact information now sometimes the contact information might be bad like mm -hmm. a, the number's no longer operable whatever disconnected some people change their you know I guess some people are on burner phones all the time. <laughs> Anyway, that you'll run into. But you know what? It's just game of numbers, game of numbers, man. It's just just chugging through it. It's the grind. This is the hardest part of the business. Like, how hard was that, though? I was not on a roof in the middle of July <laughs> roofing somebody's roof. <laughs> like, this, this was easy. It's actually kind of fun. Anyway. Anybody else? Hey, Alex. How's it going? It's Jerry. Hey, what's up? I have a question. Uh, if you keep calling people and then they never pick up, so you think it will be best to just go door knocking? Yes. Please, please do that. In fact, right. if you want to learn door knocks, um, on my website, there's um, – uh, hold on. Oh, it's door knocking, not door knocks. Door knocking, okay. Four size door knocking. Great stuff on door knocking here. Okay. You got that, Jerry? Jerry? Yeah, I got it. I see it. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Hi, Alex. This is yes. Dr. D. Hey, yeah. Dr. D. Uh, yeah. Hey, I finally made 115 phone calls yesterday. Didn't book anything, but at least I'm getting so that I'm doing it. And I appreciate your helping today, too, and about that door knocking. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that. Man, if we can get everyone $200 a week, can you imagine what y'all could do on $200 a week? Um, when someone calls you back hours or a day later. Okay, so you're going to get callbacks, Carlos. And it depends on how good you are. I will pick up and I'll say, hey, I've been trying to reach you. <laughs> Remember you sent in this form and I don't even know what it is. So, so what I recommend if you're brand new, and you get a call back and you know it's the number that you dialed, I won't take the call, okay? I will look on all my leads and I'll look for that number. And when I find that number, I will call them back, okay? Does that make sense? So I will look for the number in my stack of leads. All right, Carlos? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, 200 dials, man. 200 dials, and if you've got enough leads, talk to Jeannie, maybe we can get you some more bonus leads. Or get on a GMR. Like seriously, man, you get on a GMR, you got leads coming in every week, and you apply 200 dials, that's like four hours. Four hours of your time to book appointments. Man, and, it, and I'm really of the opinion you do whatever it takes. If it takes you $500 to book 10 appointments, 
you know, I'm really of that mindset because look, if you could do 200, you could do 400. It's just four more hours. So find four more hours to get on the phone. This is the hardest part of the business. All right. So anyway, man, last questions, anybody? All right. God bless, man. Rock on. Hit the phones. <laughs> Hit the phones. All right, man. Take care.